Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've had a lot of requests on my channel. I haven't posted in a long time, I've been on a hiatus, have a lot going on in life, COVID, a lot of lockdowns in Australia, so a lot of restrictions on us and what we can do. Also, I've had some mental health issues which I've had to take care of. But I want to get back into making videos and I'm going to start off with some highly requested stuff. We're going to go catch some exotic fish in a creek, whatever, dam, pond, I don't know. But I found a place near where I've currently bought a house and we're going to check it out and see what we can do. So, um, welcome back to the channel guys and if you want to see more content like this or what sort of content would you like to see, just leave a comment on this video on what sort of content you'd like to see. Um, if you want to see more content of catching fish in little traps um, and exotic fish, then we'll try to hunt some down and see what we can do different places around here now that I've moved up north on the Gold Coast of Australia. We can see what we can do. So today we're going to start off by using this two gallon, um, five litre, two gallon slash five litre container, drinking bottle of water. Uh, I've got a couple of them. So, got two of them here, yeah, I've got a few more down there, but we're only going to make two today. And we're going to put some dog food in them and see what we can catch. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come along for the adventure. Alright. First things first, guys, we got to make the traps. If you're um, a child, sorry, um, you know, young, please get your parents to do this because you will require a knife and a pair of scissors or just one of the options. So get yourself a five litre container or any, any bottle will do. I'm using five litre, two gallons, whatever, because they're large, but you can do this with any bottle whatsoever, as long as it's a plastic bottle. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make the incision and then we're gonna cut around the rimming. So you can do this completely with a knife or you can opt out for the scissors and cut around. Now I'm sure most of you are just gonna skip this part as this is already a common technique that a lot of people use. You're gonna grab the cut piece off and put it inside the rest of the bottle. Just wanna jam it in there. And then once it's in there, you're good to go, basically. So this is what you should look like, uh, your end result should look so like. So we're at the spot that I was planning to come to, and the water is actually very clear. Hopefully, we will get a few fish here, and hopefully we can get some exotic ones, like pet store looking fish, aquarium fish, whatever you want to call them. There's a big kangaroo, which I am not going to contest. I am not going to contest him, but, um. So we're just going to stay on this side for now. Hopefully he buggers off because he is like bigger than me and I'm like six foot three. So yeah, I'm not contesting him, but um, as you can see, a bit of movement in the water there. So we might have some fish in here to catch. It's kind of awesome. He's huge. Hey guys, so we got the GoPro in this one here. Now all we're going to do is put some dog food in this one and with the one with the GoPro in it, we're also going to get some dog food. Yeah. Guys, when you're doing this, just get the cheapest dog food if you're going to use dog food. It doesn't really worry the fish. Now as for platties, I'm thinking we're going to try this weedy area because they usually like to chill out and weed and um, usually like weedy areas and muddy areas. So. All I can really see at the moment is the mosquito fish, so hopefully we will get a laugh. So over here guys, now that the kangaroos are moving, I'm going to put a trap on this side. My 
my shoes literally just got saturated. It's a bit sinky there. So this is in Gold Coast, by the way, guys. Um, a lot of my videos have been filmed in all random places in Australia as I've traveled around. But um, I've recently bought a house in Gold, sorry, recently bought a house in Gold Coast. So um, things are starting to look up and mentally doing better. So hopefully we can get back on track, start making a few more videos. Brisbane is a hot spot for me. I used to catch a lot of stuff in Brisbane. Um, a couple of other places up, just a little bit further up in Queensland. A bit of luck with some stuff. Um, a couple of videos on my channel. But yeah, I used to live in Sydney and I ended up getting out last year before all the ridiculous lockdowns started happening. So thank God for that, because that would have taken a big toll on me. So we all got to stay positive through these times and um, mental health is huge for people my age and younger as the, the world's moving very fast. And um, you know, everything's stopped. Like we can't do anything and time's just gone by so fast. So it really takes an impact on the younger people. It's gonna be very hard for the future generation and I just want to say that, yeah, everyone needs to stay positive and if making some videos helps some people um, get through these tough times and I wanna really try to get back into the swing of things, it is going to be a process for me, but I will try my best to get some videos out. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but over in those lily pads right there on the camera. Massive tilapia. Maybe one day we will go fishing for some tilapia on this channel. So just gonna do a little bit of adventuring while we're here. Have a look. See if we can see anything interesting in this creek. Um, there's a lot of sandflies and mosquitoes around so I probably should have put some mosquito repellent on. But look at this, this is just like really cool to see these little streams and you can imagine there'd be a lot of fish in here. Just a lot of fish would be hiding in these streams. All right, just check the trap over there. Nothing at all. So that's not looking too good to that trap. As to this trap. Still nothing. I'll leave the traps in overnight and we'll check them in the morning. Um, it is quite hot. I did. I forgot to bring the water with me and I've already been out here for about an hour. And I wasn't planning on staying out for too long so I'll give it another hour and see if we can come up with something. Come back tomorrow and see where we're at. I might bring some net traps down as well so we can place them um, in deeper waters with the strings attached. So that'll give us more of a chance. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. It's day two of having the traps in now. Um, had them set since midday yesterday and it's about midday today as well, my second day. Um, today I brought a net and also a green trap the netting trap so let's check these traps and see if we've got anything and then I'm going to set up the green trap and um, I'll do an update video on that one if we get some but I'm also got the net out today because I want to try um, run the net through some reeds and weeds and stuff and see if we can get something with that. A netted trap and I also brought a net. I'm just going to check these traps that we originally set. Now this first trap has been pushed out of it, so I'm gonna use the net to bring it back. Set it into the weeds over here a bit. People trying to catch something. Nothing. Try 
try some of these wheats here. here. Hopefully get these on the camera. Now these are definitely platy. Very young platy. I'm gonna put them in the bucket. The There's another baby platy in here. I'll take home and we'll look at it better in a glass fish tank. Oh, there's a bigger platy. A bit of orange on the tail for this one. Still not really much colour yet, but hopefully we can find some of some colour. Okay guys, this is our yield from our work today, so um this out and have a look. Alright guys, I just want to let you guys know that if you are going to go around and do this sort of stuff, make sure that any body part, hands, feet, anything that touches this water, to give it a very thorough wash when you get home because it is going to be contaminated with bacteria or anything really. I mean, like, there's a lot of waste that goes into these sort of waters from all the drainage and runoffs and stuff, so make sure you give your hands a thorough wash. Um, just like us, you know, we don't want to get infections. Do not put any fish that you catch straight into your aquarium. Always give them a parasite, you know, get rid of all the parasites off them first, treat them for parasites, treat them for anything really, just quarantine them for at least two weeks before you add them to any fish tank. And without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys what we got today in a glass tank with cleaner water and they're not going in any, any aquarium that has fish in them, they're going into their own tank. We have aquarium water that I've sourced from other tanks to give them a little bit of uh, biobacteria or whatever in the water. But um, so yeah, let's get on to that. Let's have a look at what we got. All right guys, so this is the results of today's yielding of what we've caught. Um, you might notice there is a couple of the um, dragonfly, damsel flies, whatever larvae in here. There is also one or two mosquito fish over this side. But overall, there's a fair few platy in here. Just did a quick count, there's about 25 to 24 platy in here. Um, some pretty good sized ones. So yeah, there's some, there actually is a little bit of color in these guys. They've got a bit of orange on there. I'm not sure how well the camera is picking that up, but a couple of these smaller ones and that larger one there has it actually pretty bright and orange on it. But, um, there's also that one down there that has a bright top fin and a couple of different types of platy in here, not just Mickey Mouse, but you can see the definitive proof that there is definitely Mickey Mouse platy in here. So that's quite interesting. Um, my last video we didn't actually catch, where I caught the platy, we didn't actually catch any Mickey Mouse, so that's pretty interesting. Um, if you guys want to see a video on the life cycle of these damselflies, I'll have to do that one day, but if you guys want to see that, I can get that done now that I have some on hand.